friends would walk up to me and just be like, what the fuck is in your mug? And I would just tell them, it's mud. I was born in a small surf town called Santa Cruz. My dad was a builder, so I was always making things. I went on to study both art and graphic design in college. Ended up moving to San Francisco and joining a tech company there, leading the design team. I was drinking tons of coffee. Everyone was drinking it. Sort of bought into the paradigm that coffee was gonna allow me to do more and do it faster. But I think spending a lot of time just by myself in front of a canvas, I was pretty in tune with my mental state. I was jittery, I was anxious. The life was a little bit more stressful than it needed to be. And I met more and more people who had a similar relationship to caffeine. People wanted to wean off their afternoon cup or quit altogether. Around that time, I got invited to do an artist in residency program in Goa, India. I took a leave of absence from work and I went and lived in India for six months. Their version of coffee is masala chai. It's on every corner, it's what everybody's drinking. I fell in love with it. When I came home, I took an inventory of a lot of rituals and habits and beliefs. It became really obvious to me that my coffee addiction was more something that was prescribed to me by culture than something that I wanted to continue. But I ended up swapping it out for this masala chai I found. It was really high quality ingredients, all organic, with one seventh the caffeine of coffee. And I just started to research different ingredients that had a benefit profile that fit my lifestyle. I added lion's mane for focus and cognitive function, cacao for mood, energy, and of course flavor chaga and reishi for immune support, turmeric and cordyceps for physical performance, a little bit of cinnamon to help with intermittent fasting, sugar cravings, and a pinch of salt to help the flavors pop. I started to add that to my hydro flask every morning with a bunch of hot water, and I would take it with me to the office, to the gym, to music festivals. Almost 90% of the population is addicted to caffeine, and I wondered how many people were around me that maybe it would benefit from something different. And so in May of 2018, I designed a brand, coded a website, put up an Instagram post that said, we're not mad at coffee, we're just disappointed, so we made something better. And we just started getting sales. I've been working on this business ever since. I have an amazing team spread across the globe, and we would love for you to try it. This drink that really changed my life ultimately became it. <laughs>